and we're back for episode four. Today's episode, we are going to uh, focus on completing a few quests. We'll give you guys an update about what I've been up to uh, for the last little bit, and then uh, we should hopefully get into some enchanting and check out how that works on Cubecraft. So, one thing you guys will notice, I bought another spawner, and I have quite a few coins right now compared to the last video. I've just been AFK in here for a little bit uh, throughout the day, I'm able to get some decent drops that way. I moved shop over here so that I can sell some beef and leather, and it works out pretty well. So I've got 2,600 coins worth of leather there, and let's just sell the raw beef or steak, or not the steak, the raw beef, there it is. So look, eight, eight grand. 8,000 coins for doing nothing. Just standing here, letting cows drop. It's fantastic. All right, so I went ahead and uh, filled in some of this area with uh, slabs just to give myself a little bit more room to run around. I started the wheat farm quest just to make some progress there. Um, so we'll go ahead and come get this one done now. And I'll give you guys a brief overview on wheat. It's no different than normal wheat, but the timer is going to be well, the first actually significant jump in timer. So uh, it takes about eight minutes for each uh, wheat to grow. So we'll complete that one. And I believe for the pumpkin quest, I also just need one more. So we'll come over here, grab that. All right couple quests done here. We've got... So the pumpkin one was just a side quest, but it gives us 5,000 more coins, which isn't too bad. And... let's see... So I believe this is the next one. So eat raw beef. It's actually a good thing that I've got this dropper here. I'll have plenty of, of raw beef. So basically the easiest way to get this one done, guys, is get some raw beef in inventory and just run around and jump around and sprint and eventually your health will start going down to the point where you can start eating. Make sure I don't fall off there. Uh, so as you can see, I'll get my hunger down real low. We'll actually run over, actually need my pick first. So we're going to go explore the other island that we unlocked in the last episode as well and we'll give you guys a, a look at what's in there. So, run over there and eat some beef real quick. And again, we have the dropper now, right? So it's not really a waste, even though this isn't super efficient when it comes to the food. So let's come on over here. So we saw in the last episode that we've got some chicken spawners over here. I actually cut down the threes a little bit. Um, cut down one of these real fast so you guys can see uh, the tree timers are also different for these spruce trees they take a little bit longer to grow so we'll just cut this one down as an example cool we got a sapling so these one these trees take six minutes so not anything too crazy yet but it'll keep getting more and more from there so on this island, we actually unlock Lapis, so we can use our stone pick to get the Lapis, and you'll be able to see here, so it takes 10 minutes for the Lapis generators to generate Lapis again. So we're going to go ahead and mine out the whole inside of this cave. I'll try to get all of the generators out of here, and then we'll come back. I went ahead and brought the uh, generators back here to my platform. And uh, before I place them down, I wanted to show you guys how much I got. So I, th I did a little once around uh, on the island over there. I think I got everything. They usually don't have a whole lot of stuff hidden deep within the islands and hard to get spots. Um, so feel free to tell me if you got more on your uh, on your island as you unlocked it over there. But I got 14 of the lapis generators and five more coal generators. So we're going to put those down over here. And then lapis generators here. We got that all taken care of. Let's take a quick look at our quests. So what I'm going to work on actually uh, for the time being, I'm going to uh, work on generating the 50 lapis and then we'll hop back into it. 
We're a couple lapis away from finishing this, but before I mine that, I just wanted to call out uh, one thing real fast. While you're working on this quest, you're going to have to mine everything at least twice, so you know there's 20 minutes or so that you're going to spend waiting. I'd suggest you uh, work on your potato farm if you built something similar to what I've got. There is a side quest that I've been working on as I've just been waiting to, to do things, um, and it's this potato peels quest. Um, so the thousand potatoes is actually pretty easy to get if you built what I have here. It'll take you two harvests basically to get to a thousand. Um, but you do have to get 50 poisonous potatoes, which are a fairly low drop chance. Um, I think if if I harvest this whole thing on a unlucky run, I'll get like three. Uh, four to five is pretty decent, and then I've gotten six, I think, the last time I harvested it. So um, if you want to work on some of those side quests while you're waiting on the lapis to regenerate. Uh, that's a good one uh, to work on while you're waiting. So let's just go ahead and save and get up the rest of these lapis. All right. So one of the things that you might be tempted to do is sell your lapis as you're trying to get money. Again, just use potatoes and wheat for money, as well as your mob dropper for cows. Super easy way to do it. Uh, you'll need lapis later. Don't sell it. Don't just try to sell everything you get. Um, try to hang on to it. So. Let's go ahead and look at what quest we unlocked. So, all right, so we need to enchant something to level one. And basically the way that enchanting works on Cubecraft, it's, it's similar but yet different to uh, normal Minecraft. So it's, uh, it's similar in that you need experience and lapis, but it is different in that you also need to bring along the material of whatever it is you're going to enchant uh, and the level requirements are totally different. So in order to enchant at this point in the game we have to go to the Skyblock Hub. There's no other way to do it. We don't have the materials to build what we need to on our island yet. So if we go to the hub, um, one of the things we'll do first is come over here. I'm actually going to enchant my pick. You can enchant anything you want to level one, but I think this is probably the most efficient thing to do right from the get-go. So you're going to come over here, you can right-click on this dude here, but everybody does that, as you can see. Um, so an easy way just to get around all the chaos of, of this mess, you can just come over here to this enchanting table and do it here. Um, so I'm going to suggest you use Fortune, and I'm going to explain why in a minute. So when you click on this, it's going to give you a tooltip for what you need. In this case, we need four lapis, two cobblestone, and five experience levels. So again, it's a totally different system um, on Cubecraft. The nicer the material you use, so stone, iron, diamond, the more expensive it is for every single level that you enchant something, including the first level. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and confirm my upgrade, and I finish that quest. Before we go back to our island, I'm going to repair my tool. And this is a really important uh, component of Cubecraft as well uh, that I didn't know about when I first started, and I wasted a ton of time and energy trying to make sure my tools didn't break because I was too afraid to have to come in here and repair them. Normally in Minecraft, right, when you repair a tool, you need to bring the material and you uh, consume experience to uh, repair it. On Cubecraft, all you use is the material. There's no experience. So in this case, I'm repairing a stone tool, so I need some cobblestone, uh, and I can just come over here and do that. What's awesome about this is, unlike normal Minecraft, it doesn't get more expensive the more you repair. It's going to be the same cost every time. The more you enchant something, obviously, the more materials you need to repair it, but the uh, cost doesn't go up exponentially like it does in norm normal Minecraft where you get to a point and it's just not even worth trying to repair a tool. So don't let your tools break. Uh, it's kind of painful if you have to re-enchant stuff from the ground up. And also, it's super easy. You just need to come in here to the anvil and uh, repair what you've got. So, we've got our, our pick enchanted, and we're going to run back to our island. And the reason I went with Fortune is because we can immediately start taking advantage of double drops in a way that's going to be different than normal Minecraft. Obviously, we can mine the coal and the lapis and get uh, additional drops, but what's awesome about Cubecraft is on all of the other ore blocks, um, fortune works as well. So that's gold, iron, um, and what you're going to see here, if I can get it to work, we'll demonstrate it here. 
or at least attempt to. Uh, it also works on cobblestone, so if we have our cobblestone generators here, let's see if we can get it. It's only Fortune 1, so it might take a second. So that's 1, this should be 2, there you go. So on the second try, I got 2 cobblestone instead of 1. So this is going to be super useful and super um, just efficient to uh, uh, use. So let's just double check that we don't have any other quests to get any more enchanting done. So we have that one there, Sorcerer in Training. Alright, so we've got to enchant basically all the leather armor that we've got on our body to level 1. And that just means level 1 in Cubecraft terms. So, uh, let's see, we've got a decent amount of lapis, and we might have enough actually to get all this stuff done. So let's go back to the Skyblock Hub real quick. And again, we've got the cow dropper, right? So we have tons of leather. We don't have to stop and kill cows. Let's come over here, and I think we do have to take the armor off in order to enchant it. Armor is not as useful on Cubecraft, at least the leather stuff's not, um, so it's not super important to keep it, uh, but we'll just go ahead and do it anyways. Um, so on this one, we'll just enchant everything with protection. So four lapis, two leather, three experience, easy peasy. We'll just do protection on all four of these. Oh, enchanted to level 2. There we go. Well, I read that wrong. So we got to enchant each of these level 2. So you can see, uh, instead of the 4 lapis, 2 leather, and... What was it? 4 experience? Maybe 5? Um, these go up a little bit. Uh, and and the, the jumps go up higher, the nicer the material is. So like in this case, I'm not actually going to have enough to enchant all this. So I, you can see I got 25% of the quest done. And now we've got to go back to the island, and we're out of lapis, and we also don't have enough experience. So I'm going to go ahead and take a break here. I'll keep farming the lapis and the coal to get my experience back up, and we'll pick this back up with the uh, enchanting. And we're back. We have all the experience and the lapis we need, so let's go ahead and finish upgrading our armor. Last one. Fantastic. So that should be the enchanting, all the enchanting quests we have for a little bit. Because I don't think that spawned any new ones. Now we just have these two main quests for the time being. So I think that's going to wrap up this episode, guys. Um, on the next one, we're going to do uh, a couple of things. We're going to finish up these quests, so if you are playing along uh, and you want to kind of keep pace here, I will get to the point where I'll be right, right before I finish both of these quests, just so we can see them complete in the next video and keep moving on. And then I'm also going to, uh, in the next video, show you guys how we can upgrade the cow dropper to get it ready for uh, sort of exponentially increasing <laughs> our production and have a more uh, long-term design because while this one works with a couple spawners and we could probably put a couple more up there uh, it's not the most efficient uh, it's, the cow's going to get a little, little tight up there so we'll get that done and um, just as context for you guys um, again I'm going to play it here and there in between videos, uh, otherwise this would take years to get through all the, the Cubecraft uh, quests here because some of these quests take a while, so uh, one of the things that I'll commit to you guys is I'm not going to finish, at least intentionally finish, uh, the main quests uh, in between videos. We'll wait till the next video to complete those quests and then kind of keep going through the main, the main quest line there, so I'll probably work on some of the side quests as well. For reference, I have the Beats one I haven't really started. There's some um, apple quests, uh, the eating raw beef quest, and the potato quest. Um, again, I'll get these to the point where I'm basically done with them, and we'll try to wrap them up as we keep going into 
uh, the next set of videos. So I uh, hope you guys liked this. hope you found the enchanting stuff useful. It's a great way to speed up your gameplay. Um, something again, I wish I would have known some of those some of those tips in the uh, the first playthrough that I had on Cubecraft. So if you like this video, please give it a like. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, we just passed 500 subscribers, which is crazy. It's amazing. I'm, I'll plan on doing something uh, a little bit more special for a thousand. So stay tuned for that uh, when we get there. We're on the road to a thousand now, guys. But again, thank you so much for all the support, and we'll. Uh, see you in the next video, and we'll start really cranking out some coins with our cow dropper and keep progressing through the main quests. Catch you guys in the next video.